we visit and imbue his minister with power for global harvest of souls. Let us lift up our voices on behalf of gospel ministers all over the world. Shall we pray? ministers all over. Oh God, we plead that Lord, every minister will experience you in a fresh way, in a new way, in a mighty way, in a dynamic way. Oh God, let your name be glorified. Let your work be moved by your spirit, oh God. Here we are told that your spirit began to move in. Oh Lord, that you will move our minister. All over the world, you will move our ministers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Prayer for spiritual awakening among believers and their families. Worldwide awakening. All believers, their families, sons and daughters, wife and husband, that God Almighty will move in a very special way according to his word according to his will, according to his plan, according to his purpose. I will put my law in their inward path and write it in their heart. Jeremiah chapter 41 verse 34. This is the promise that God has given. This is the promise we are pleading today before the throne of grace, the throne of mercy. This, this is a promise for which we need to cry unto God that he will put his law, his word, his way in our hearts so that that world will regulate, that world will influence, that world will redirect our decision, our action, all believers all over the world. Let us talk to God in prayer that this promise will become a reality in our day. Let us pray. As you have promised, you will fulfill, you will confirm, and we will see the church alive, the church aflame, aflame, your power moving in a mighty way all over the globe, all over the world, every area where there has been darkness, oh Lord, like living star glowing, like living star glowing everywhere, oh God Almighty, accomplish it, fulfill it, answer us, oh Lord, as we pray and bow before thee, oh Lord, this is your will, this is your way, this is your promise, bring it to pass, oh righteous Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for worldwide hunger and thirst for truth and holiness among believers. Worldwide hunger and thirst for holiness and for truth among believers. For Jesus said, Blessed are those 
who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Who hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled that God will create hunger for truth, create hunger for holiness in the heart of his people all over the world. Let us lift up our voices and cry unto God that he will fulfill this promise. We'll see a new move. We'll see the power of the Lord. We'll see revival of holiness. We'll see revival of righteousness. We'll see revival of truth. When men and women are awakened, awakened to do the will of God, awakened to pray according to the word of God, awakened to live according to the guidance and the principle of the scripture, led by the spirit, obedience everywhere, loving God, serving the purpose of the Almighty here on earth. Let us lift up our voices and call upon the name of the Lord and pray. Plantation of desire, desire for the word, the word of righteousness, the living word, the rima, the logo, oh God Almighty, in the heart of sons and daughters all over the world. Father, that God you will breathe upon us. You will plant that hunger, that passion, passion for truth, passion for righteousness, passion for doing your will. Here below, the Bible told us of extra that he prepared his heart, his mind, to learn the word, to know the word, and then to do it and teach it, O oh God. I pray you bring this reality into our, our lives, O oh God. All your brothers, all your sons and daughters, redeemed of the Lord, that God Almighty, there will be hunger, there will be thirst for truth, thirst for righteousness, hunger for righteousness, all over the world, that God, everyone, we want to do your will. Every believer, we want to do your will, we want to obey your word, we want to carry out instruction from above. We not live to ourselves anymore. We are committed to God. Oh Lord God Almighty, grant our plea, grant our prayer, and answer even as we call upon your holy name. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. We believe, oh God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Still now praying and thanking the Lord. Gratitude to God for answers to our prayers. For he that is mighty has done great things unto me, unto us. Great is his holy name. That's in Luke chapter 1, verse 49. Let us bless the Lord for answer to our supplication. Let us pray. Mighty God, we thank you. Praise your name. We rejoice in your presence. Because you say, before they ask, I will hear. Why can he pray? I will answer. Lord, we receive by faith. We believe in you. You are faithful. You are loving. You are kind. You are gracious. Thank you for granting our heart desires. Thank you, mighty King and righteous Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for your mighty move. And we believe that what we have requested of you, you have provided, you have granted far beyond our request and our expectation. Oh Lord, let it be that your name may be glorified, that you might be honored all over the world in the life of your ministers, in the life of your children. Oh God, let it be in Jesus' name. We thank you for the answer to prayer. In Jesus' name.